everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi I'm Stephanie so you may be thinking Steph you kind of look like the 80s have kind of came back and yeah I'm feeling it I'm kind of feeling like the glam rock kind of 80s thing going on basically me and um, some of my friends here on YouTube decided to get together and do a collab using the um, Urban Decay electric palette which I absolutely have been loving and yeah so we all are going to do different looks from it I will have all of their links down below um, there will be Jessica from Beauty by Bisset, uh Sharon Lee Sparkles by Renee and Sparkle Bubble Time I believe her name is so yeah I'll put all their links down below some of them will have more daytime wearable as you can see I kind of got like wow going to the club um 80s flashback I don't know look going on but I'm really digging it so stay tuned for the tutorial and I'll show you some pictures of um the people that are going to be in the collab too and yeah I'll talk to you later love you Mwah. So I want to do a quick rundown of um, everything else that is on my face and then we'll get into the eyeshadow tutorial. So um, I am wearing the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I also have on um, the uh, Hoola bronzer little sample that y'all saw me get in my last haul. And I have uh, the MAC blush in Full of Joy. I don't have a lot of it. You can kind of see it right there. Um, because the eye look is so bright, I wanted to keep the face kind of simple. Now, I did kind of do something like that not everyone would do, and I went for a bold kind of bright neon lip. I'm wearing Max Candy Yum Yum. But this is definitely kind of me. You go into the club. You go on out. You want to be fierce. That's what this kind of look is. And if you... To me, like, because the eyeshadow is kind of blended well, it looks nice. It's not, like, crazy everywhere. Um, you could wear this, just, like, not have um, this part of lipstick on if you wanted it for a more, you know, everyday kind of wear. No, I know not, not everybody would wear this every day. Um, I, I just don't have that kind of filter. You know, like, I was a former goth. Like, I wore, like, big winged out liner and just all kinds of stuff. So, I, I just really don't care. But let's go ahead and get into this. Um, first, I'm going to start off with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I will say, you do need some type of base with this because it will stain your eyelids. I found that out when I was playing around with the um, palette to do this look okay so let that dry for a second and oh, while that is drying I'm actually going to go ahead and grab the Too Faced um, Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner and this is just in perfect black I'm going to line my um, waterline And my best tip is to make sure you have a very, very soft um, liner that kind of glides on. That you do not have to take a lot of effort or have a lot of pressure with. And as you see, it came out of the line a little bit. But that's okay. That's what this little sponge tip here is for. And just kind of blend it just a little bit. All right, there you go. So now I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and put this on. And these, blah, this will just help the, um, I don't know why all of a sudden like in videos I will start like sounding a lot more Southern than I sound normally. But anyway, um, this will just help 
make the colors really vibrant and just kind of keep everything where you want it. All right, and I'm going to put a little bit right here and then just underneath the black, which it doesn't have to be perfect right here. It's getting covered up. Okay, now I'm going to be taking, ooh, let me, I'm going to blind you in my mirror, the um, green color, no, I'm sorry, I'm going to be taking this lime color here in trash. So you can say I was going to be taking freak, but I'm not taking freak, I'm taking trash. And I'm putting it in just like the first um, one third of my eye space. And then I'm also taking it down like so on the first like one third of my bottom lid and onto um, the corner of my eye. Okay, and I'm going to just take the same brush on the other side and go in to Savage, which is this bright hot pink color, which I absolutely love. I knew that um, Savage was going to be in this look somewhere. And I'm just going to put this color on the rest of my bottom lid up into the crease just a little bit. Kind of blend the two colors um, where they meet just gently so there's not like just a harsh edge I mean it's definitely a different color so it's not going to blend seamlessly but just so it's not like a harsh edge there And I do want the pink color up on my crease a little bit because when I blend in the crease color, um, which will be the purple color, it's going to change it a little bit with the pink. And I just kind of liked how that turned out. So, And if my lighting looks weird, it is like 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm filming this. Um, I know that sounds really awful. But I have like chronic insomnia. And so night is my time. Like all of the kids are asleep. Everyone is in bed. I can clean my house. I can get stuff done. And I was not able to film today. So that's why I'm filming so late. So I'm taking the purple color, which is in Urban, which I absolutely love that color. That is so gorgeous. Just look at that. Oh my goodness. Um, just on a fluffy brush right into the crease so it's blending now into that um, pink color Just work those together I do like these blend really nicely and they just are so vibrant and intense if you love um, colors like these you just need to get this palette for real okay so I'm pretty much going all the way over um, with this color up a pretty good amount to Just kind of work that, blend it. I'm not really adding any more color. I had plenty, I think, the first time. Just 
make sure you have it right in the crease area in your socket all right so now I'm going to take the little brush that the palette came with and going into the silver color which is called Revolt and I'm actually I'm using the bigger part of the brush and that is what I'm going to put on right up here at my brow bone and yeah you know, I mean normally I wouldn't put just like a silver <laughs> in my crease but you know it works with this look at least I think so. Looks pretty. Let's kind of blend it to the um, purple. Make it pretty. And then I'm going to take a little bit right um, in my corner here on top of that lime green color. I think I need a little bit more on the side. I'll put it on the side, but I think, and it may just be the um, shadow. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a 217, actually no I'm not, I'm going to take the fluffy brush again and blend this just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take my 217 and I'm going to go into this color right here which is called Gonzo. get a pretty good amount so right here on um, the outer part of my eyelid start adding that kind of like you're putting an outer V we're not necessarily going to go over um, into my crease if that makes any sense okay so now this is where it's going to get a little interesting don't let me lose you I'll tap off my brush okay so I'm going to add a little bit more right there now I'm going to go straight up to where my tail of my um eyebrow is so you can even just take your pencil and go like that if you want to but that's just what I'm going to do go straight up with it now you want you do want to blend this color um, get a little softer it is going to get covered up a little bit by the lashes and the um, uh, the wing liner I'm gonna do but you do want that little bit of blue okay now I'm going to be taking the other side of the brush and I'm going to go into fringe which is right here just get a little bit on that and I'm going to go right under the black a little bit more this is a pretty color this color just a little bit more and I'm going to pick up where the purple 
and just kind of blend right there because even though this is a wild look I still want it to look pretty I still want it to be well blended um, and with as pigmented as these are you're not going to lose that pigmentation if you do you know blend okay so I'm going to stop there for a minute. I'm going to put on my lashes and my winged eyeliner basically because I am not um, all that skilled at putting on lashes right now. And these, if you can take a look at those, they are very, very long. They have little jewels on them. Um, they're a pain in the booty to get on. As you can see, you know, they look pretty fierce when you're looking sideways. But yeah, they're, they're kind of a little challenge to get on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then get back with you. See you. In Hey guys, so I am back and here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Um, please go and check out the other girls um, and see their look. Some are going to be, like I said, um, more of a wearable look. Some are going to be a little wild like mine. But yeah, I'm actually really digging this and like I wish I had somewhere to go and, and rock this stuff because I'm really enjoying this palette. <laughs> okay, so please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you, bye!